I'm here in the country of Turkey, standing at the place that we call Pamukkale, a place that means the cotton castle. Here out of beautiful hot springs, water comes flowing over this mountain, leaving behind mineral deposits that have formed just a gorgeous, incredible place that looks like snow-covered mountains. This is one of the things that God had in mind as Jesus communicated to John on the island of Patmos about the Laodicea church. You are neither hot nor cold. You could picture the hot, beautiful place that we've just described here and Colossus down further that had cold, rushing water. But Laodicea, as rich and wealthy as it was, it just didn't have this powerful, beautiful, refreshing experience. And that is what God applies as the condition of the people who live at the end of time, a time when the world desperately needs to see who God really is, the beauty of His character, but they're compromised. They're not even like Him. So Jesus says these words to the church in Revelation chapter 3, 14 to 22. He says, I know your works, that you are neither hot nor cold. I could wish you were cold or hot. But because you are lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will vomit you out of my mouth. Growing up, I heard those words. I heard sermons preached like this, and I could just picture that awful experience of vomiting, and it, it just seemed like Jesus was disgusted at us. But now I have learned that that's not the case at all. And in fact, when we're about to throw up, we're trying to hold it back. We don't want to be that way. And the entire rest of the letter is just full of the love of Jesus in which he is doing everything he can to help them change and become truly on fire for him. So now I picture Jesus just trying to hold us close to him instead of lose us. I want to invite you to dig deep into this precious letter. Why? because it's so full of Jesus, because it's exactly what God's people need at the end of time to prepare them to go through the worst of times, but also to be the greatest glory and honor to Him by being truly on fire. So go to reachtheworldnextdoor.com, look for spiritual resources and find this love letter from Jesus. Study the gold, the white raiment, the ISAB, to see in Jesus what it means to be hot, on fire, in love with Him. And you will be able to know Him better and live out the purposes for which He's called you at the end of time. Now, more than ever, Jesus matters.